This is a reminder that on Saturday, October 28th, Let's Play at Novora Autism will be hosting an Extra Life Halloween special featuring Undertale. Then, on Saturday, November the 4th, join us for our main Extra Life stream featuring Ukulele. Both of these streams will be supporting the McMaster Children's Hospital and the Children's Miracle Network. Come and show your support on both days for this wonderful cause. We are getting that much closer to Halloween. And as such, we decided that we wanted to celebrate the season as it were, by giving the place a little dark look to it with some wonderful goodies, as well as the presence of frightening morbles. All we can hope is that this Halloween will not leave us with bad breath. So, with that in mind, greetings people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for another edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog here on Final Fantasy XIV's Exodus server. So, this past week, we had the start of All Saints Wake, the Final Fantasy XIV version of Halloween, and we had the opportunity to participate in it, we had the opportunity to get some interesting things for the house, as you see, among other things, we have some fancy pumpkin-inspired goods, like the one in the middle is supposed to be a pumpkin pie, and then, if you're really familiar with Final Fantasy as a whole, you'll notice that the jack-o'-lantern over here has a little purple pudding in it, which of course was best known for being introduced in Final Fantasy IV as an enemy that could not be hurt by physical means and had to be burned or have any kind of magic cast on it in order to kill the damn thing. But thankfully, in Final Fantasy XIV, you don't have to worry about do I have to use only magic or do, can I just attack normally? In Final Fantasy XIV, when you fight one of these things, you can just beat it up normally. Which, quite frankly, is nice. And I don't mind that at all. But yeah, we've had, um, Skyla was actually taking it upon herself to make it a little dark for us for All Saints Wake, so it'll remain like this for the remainder of the of the uh, season, up until the end of Halloween. And of course we have the final, the Old Saints Wake theme of playing right now. And then we have our um, vendors who, unfortunately we can't dress them up in anything fancy as of yet. Yeah, I, I, that is something I wish we could do during the seasons is glamour our vendors. That would be something I think would be really cool that we could do to um, really enhance the experience of any seasonal event that takes place in Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, in addition to that, we also have brought back our... I'll show you upstairs. Yeah, to, since it was already too crowded downstairs in the middle um, Uldar room, we decided to put, bring back our coffin and put it up here, just so that those who want to rest in peace, can do so in the darkness. Yeah, definitely appropriate to put it in here. Like, the, the only light you're gonna get is gonna be, um, sunlight, a little ambient light from over there, from the lantern, and the fish tank. But that's pretty much it. And you also may have noticed that there is also a new painting that has been introduced into, um, circulation, and it belongs to um, Lise, when she was still portraying Ida, as well as Papa Limo. Yeah, I never thought we would actually see a painting like this go up. When, I, when Skyla was redecorated for All Saints Wake, and she put this picture up here, I was thinking to myself, where the heck do you get that? And it turns out it's, it's, a, it's a painting that can also be purchased in housing area. It would come from the same vendor that you can also purchase um, paintings of Louis Soi, as well as Sid and Minfilia. So, from that particular housing vendor, it's it's not coming to my mind which one specifically, but if you go to one of the housing vendors, um, the one that allows you to purchase paintings, you can then use it to be able to buy an Ida and Papa Nemo painting. So yeah, that now belongs in our house, so we have a, we really have stocked up on artwork and we, it's probably displayed. Of course, we have our, in our Gridania room, of course, we also have all the other art that we've accumulated at this point. 
and as you can see, all proudly decorated down here. And even now that the room has been darkened, now that the house has been darkened, even the downstairs can feel a little creepy to you. Even because, of course, we have the fireplace and we have all these people, some, some of whom are dead, so... Yeah, especially the three in the middle are definitely dead, so the fact that we have this over the we have them over the fireplace, I think, kind of adds to the scary feeling that this has presented to us. And knowing that we have all these things that glow in the dark can also be a bit intimidating too, but yeah, this is how um, we've been able to decorate the house for All Saints Wake. Um, I know there's also eerie wallpaper that's available, but at the time, as far as I'm aware, I don't think it can be purchased directly from a vendor for All Saints Wake for this year. I'm sure that there is some on the market board, but if you get it, it's like probably the wallpaper from last year, and as a result, it's really expensive. But yeah, the last finishing touch that I couldn't help but appreciate is that when you come and leave, yeah, you have to do so through a Morbol's mouth. Yeah, definitely, yeah, you're going into the bad breath, and you're getting exhaled out from the bad breath, too. So, yeah, pleasant thought, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be cool to see how other houses have done their decorating for All Saints Wake. Obviously, we, we probably are more on more of the simple um, way of having done it. But I think it works out very well for what the space that we have, and we definitely have used it well. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what you guys have come up with for decorating your house for Old Saints Wake. And if if you are someone who's watching this right now, because I'm going to post this to... There, there's an Exodus Discord that's been established now, and so I'm posting stuff to there. So if there's anyone who's watching this from vi this video from the Exodus Discord, like, please show me, like, pictures or something that's there, um, what you guys have done to decorate your house to celebrate All Saints Wake. I would certainly love to see what it looks like. But for now, that is going to do it for today's edition of the Tales of Ayorzi vlog. And as always, if you have a character here on Exodus, or looking to create one on Exodus and you need a free company, please look us up, because not only would we be happy to have you, but we have our own little All Saints Wake celebration, and we want you to come and join the party. So, thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Novoa Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.